In this video, I'm outlining what is happening when multiple users are logging on on the same machine. So we talk about the impact when this is happening, how we control the impact and go over the setting for assume that only one user is connected per computer. Let's observe multiple login events. The user Bob has logged on this machine and is matching the access role object sales role. The user Alice has logged on on this machine matching the access role sales role and the user Money has as well logged on this machine and he is matching the marketing role. The impact of the identity session of this sequence of login event is the following. For this source IP address, we now have an identity session for the machine for user money, where the access hall marketing is matching. And we have Alice and Bob related sessions where the access role sales is matching. The impact of the rule base matching based on the identity session we have is the following. For this IP address here, we are matching marketing access role, so this rule, and we match traffic related to sales role. This may not be the scenario we would like to achieve. How can we control this behavior? For the identity source AD query, we are able to enable the option assume that only one user is connected per computer. And that means that the first user logging onto this machine will start an identity session for this duration. And the next user will end the session that was established before and start a new user session for the user that just logged on. Enabling the functionality to assume that only one user is connected per computer, I can run additional tests. I first have revoked all identity sessions related to this IP, and I have done that using the PDP revoke command. Now I have logged on with the user Bob on this machine, and we see there is an identity session for the machine. This is based on this login event, and I have a basic session related for the user Bob related to the sales access role. I now have performed a logon on this Windows computer with the user Money. And you see that at the same time when Money was logging onto the computer, a logout event was generated for the user Bob Builder. So I'm running again the command here and I see that there is still the basic session for the machine on this IP, but now the user session is based for money. 